All right, let's take a look at it. So yesterday, um, we were stalking this trade. I said if we break 51, this level at 51, that was a very critical level of market profile. The roadmap said if we break 51, I had a target of 25. I missed it by, what, two ticks. It went down to 20. Five or twenty or four and a half or something like that. So um, if you look, this was a critical level year. How did I look at this critical level? We just went over market profile, how we can use previous market profiles to find critical levels. So what we can do is is we can take my six, 60 minute market profile and we can find out where the market could possibly break down or break out at. So we know that if we know today that based upon our previous market profile levels, the POC, point of control, high value area, it creates future support and resistance levels. Because like I'm educating traders, a lot of institutional traders don't even use indicators. They use market profile and VWAP because it's order flow. So knowing that, we can find gaps in the market. We can find gaps in the market using previous POC, HVA, and so on. So knowing that, we can put those on our charts going, use a 60-minute chart, use a POC, HV, and LVA, post those on our chart going forward, and it lets us know where critical levels are. So I had a big gap in the market because of high-value area. If it broke, we had no support below us. So we had a big gap in the market to our demand line down here and then also the break. So what you want to do then is you want to time the trade, and you want to time it by saying, hey, I want to look for – FCR trades and Momo trades when I break into a, a, a critical gap. Now, how you can time it is this, is I have this chart that I send out to everybody. I'll show you today's trade in a second we're going to look for, is I have this chart that shows these levels, and I have three zones. I have an outer zone, I have an intermediate zone, and a shallow zone. Now, yesterday, when we were looking, stalking the trade of 51 break, here was 51 yesterday that I was stalking. That was the market profile. Previous market profile was right here, 51 and a quarter, right there. And I said, listen, if we're in a balanced market. Now, how do I know we're in a balanced market? A balanced market means you can sell the high, buy the low. It means if you have critical demand below you, demand would be the green zones. And if you see that on that chart, if you have demand below you, and at the same time, consequently, you have supply above you, you're in a chop or range market, what's called the balanced market. So you're in a balanced market, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to go from an, a balanced market to an imbalanced market. Because what happens is once we cut through and we break one side, whether, whether it be this side of the demand line or this side of the supply line, you're going to have order flow just above you. You're going to have buy stops up here, and you're going to have sell stops right below you. And this is why this works on a week-to-week, day-to-day basis by looking at just order flow and market imbalances and balances. So we're in a balanced market right now, right? So yesterday, when I was stocking the trade, and good job, to, uh, to our traders in the room that picked this up, that we were talking about how it was balanced. And I said, once we get outside the balanced market, whether it be the upside or the downside, we're going to come into what's called an imbalanced market. An imbalanced market is where the sell stops hit because all these traders that got long in the balanced market at these levels, critical levels, especially the POC that was yesterday, or that was actually, I'm sorry, the high value area yesterday, it got below it these sell stops start kicking. Look at the speed that kicked in, sell stops. So once you come from an imbalanced market, then you can start looking for what FCR Momo trades. So then we start firing off what? Here's our FCR trade. When we got the offset color speed bar that came in that caught the counter turn traders. And this is our Momo trade. And this is how the market works. It's strictly order flow. That was our Momo trade right at the retracement and that was our overall hold on one second that was our overall fzr trade so we want to take the fzr momo trades in an imbalanced market that's what we want to do we we don't want to trade take trades in a balanced market so this morning we're in a what we're in a balanced market right now we have supply above us and we have demand below us 
there's supply, there's demand. So is the market really going to go vertical? No, not yet. However, if I break below this critical level of demand, I have what? I'm going to have sell stops below me, and I'm going to have buy stops above me. And that's going to create vertical markets. Vertical markets create opportunity. And I got buy stops above me from all the algorithms, all the hedge funds, all the prop firms. Remember, these guys, don't, they don't have an edge over us, guys. Yes, they get better fills. We all know that, you know, they get better fills than us. But they do not have an edge over us. Algorithms don't have an edge over us if by, they leave their footprint. We can go right with them because they leave their footprint for us. All the banks, all the hedges, all the props, they leave their footprint for us. We just got to watch order flow, right, and piggyback off their coattails. So what you want to try to do then is you just want to wait for, if you're in a balanced market, do you think you're going to have a big runner in a balanced market? Absolutely not. Because you got underlying demand, you got overhead supply. So if I now got overhead supply and then I marked up my previous uh, point of controls. Now, remember, I'm making an indicator like this. So this will go on your charts. This is not like a 30-minute market profile. This is more accurate than 30-minute market profile. So I'm going to mark these levels. Uh, I mean, an indicator where you just insert it, and I'll put them on for you. But, you know, when I'm in here in the room on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, Fridays, I'll show you what I think the big inflection points are, like I did yesterday and I will today. So the critical breaking points. So I know that in a balanced market yesterday, as we walked through this trade, I said we're in a balanced market. Don't expect anything. You know, we're in a chop market. Balance equals chop in between high value, low value. The only way that, in my opinion, how I educate traders, you can make money in a balanced or chop market is you buy the low and you sell the high. You cannot look for any trend trades. It's a balanced market. However, once you get to an imbalanced market, the FCR and Momo trades are killer trades. Look at all the trades. If you lease the software, look at the thousands and thousands of trades that you can see where the runners run the hardest when you get into an imbalanced market. You're going to see tons of them in many, many different markets. Just like yesterday, just like the day before, just like last week, all the big runners that you see when I send these out to you about the FCR Momo trades that run is because they are entering an imbalanced market. They're not into a balanced market. You don't get big runners inside of a balanced market, right? So because you're in a underlying demand and overhead supply. So once we broke through the sell stop, sell stops are hitting, you look for the first retracement. This is actually an FCR on the first wave. It's a first wave retracement FCR, and then it just started rolling into trades. FCR, Momo, FCR, Momo, and it's crank, 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 25 S&P points, 100 ticks potential just like that. What you can't do is you can't think you're going to have big runners, and you subject yourself to a lot of risk if you're in a balanced market. If you're not selling the, buying the lows of high value, a low value area and selling the highs of high value area, because this market will ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong. Now, yesterday... I did point out this VTOP. I said, listen, we were in a downtrend. The only reason I said we could sell this VTOP yesterday was, I believe it was right here on the VTOP here. That yesterday, this big VTOP was we're in a big critical move down, right? So I said the VTOP, I said 66 was the VTOP. It actually hit 66 and a half within two ticks, and it tanked for us. But this, as long as you stay below or above this outer edge this market is in that trend stage so the outer edge was set yesterday that's a V top I mentioned yesterday before it came up to look for a sell V topped again here on the outer edge that's my 70 62 that golden ratio likes to reverse as soon as you get outside this outer edge and you cut through it like this outer edge if you break the outer edge look for a what a critical move down to the downside or upside. All right, this is strictly order flow. It has nothing to do with my opinion. It has nothing to do with Gerald's opinion, nothing to do with your opinion. Our opinions are worthless in the market. The market is always right. We are always wrong. So we can't have opinions. What we can do is we can look at the structure of the market. This is the roadmap. It's the order flow. It tells exactly where the market should go. So what we want to do is we want to try to put ourselves in a position to win in getting into imbalanced markets, getting into FCRs in balance. So when we critically broke this level, that's why I had this chart and I, we, we, we sent it up to all leases of the program, we, we show what a balanced and imbalanced market means. 
and don't take this chart lightly. It sets trades up. I stalked this trade with members in here yesterday, and we, we absolutely nailed the push down to 25 from 51 break. And we're looking for the same thing today. I'm looking for a break of this balance to imbalance market. Right now, we're in a balanced market. So once we get through this balance, we cut through this level of this here, we can move up to that 4,200 level if we get the buy stop start kicking. However, if we break this critical outer edge, and let's say the market doesn't want to break out, you have to be prepared for the other side. Yes, I said if we stay above 4,100, the natural swing is to 4,350 the next two weeks, three weeks. That's a natural swing. But that's an opinion. That's not, I can't predict the future. That's just technically saying what the weekly and daily charts look like. Now, however, who's to say we just don't break down today? We don't break down at 57, right, or below this outer edge. If it does, sell stops will hit. We're going to rotate back up, and then it opens a gap below us, and this is where all the best FCR trades, because now we come from a balanced market into an imbalanced market. So right now we're in a balanced market. We're in a balanced market. Do you see this market taking off? No, because if we're in a balanced market. It's going to, you know, do we have a slight bias up? Yes. Is it balanced? Yes, because it's in between supply and demand. However, if we get a push above outside the outer edge on our supply or below our demand, sell stops and buy stops should hit, and then it adds fuel to the fire. It's like having a little fire outside on, on uh, you know, and then just adding gasoline to it. It just explodes. The market, the price explodes through it. You know, just like yesterday, it explodes through this level. So we get through this, you'll see an, uh, an explosion of price. Why? That's when the buy, when you start seeing a vertical movement in price like this, you see speed bar, speed bar, speed bar. That's buy stops. Are you seeing an explosion in price below my demand line? My, my demand. You'll see an explosion in price. So what we do then, like I showed him yesterday, I showed you guys yesterday, I said, listen, if we break out of demand, we should go like this. And I pointed out, FCR should go here, and then we should come up, and we should stair step all the way down to 25. Stair step, FCR. Stair step, Momo. Lower highs all the way down until we get to our target, right? How, right there, and hit our target. That's what you look for in an imbalanced market. If you get to imbalance on the other side, you'll see a major explosion of the upside when the buy stops hit. You know when they're hitting because you're going to see a tons of, of these speed bars like this. See them in a row? Speed bars, speed bars. That's when the buy stop starts cranking. And then what we'll do is we'll look for the first FCR retracement. And then we'll look for the Momo. I'm adding this into the algorithm, by the way. You'll get the algorithm first, which we'll go over a second in a second. But I'm adding this to the algorithm market profile. I'm going to have a toggle switch that says, hey, I only want to take FCR trades and imbalanced markets. It's going to be awesome. It is going to be awesome. Because I'm going to put myself in a position to win only in imbalanced markets. I'm going to say, hey, I'm not going to take any more of these trades in a balanced market on FCR and Momo trades. I'm going to put myself in a position to win here and here. Now, when we broke yesterday, how does that translate into getting trades? Because market profile, knowing you're in a balanced market is one thing. Knowing when you get outside of HV and LV and imbalance is one thing. But how do you time the trade? How can we get in and we can time the trade with small risk? Then what we do is we come down to our FCR Momo trades. So yesterday, here's my critical level. This is this imbalance I was talking about. We got imbalance right there. We broke this level. And I said, listen, let's look for the first FCR Momo trades to take. Uh, I know that Leo, Sal, Derek, you guys all got on this. You guys were typing in the room. I said target 25, and good job, you three, by the way. I like how you guys are trading these setups, by the way. So um, they all got into these setups, and our target was 25, and that's 25 S&P point run. Um, look how the FCR hit. We broke to an imbalanced market, right? This is a critical level. So now you can trade off this chart because here I was at up here at this level, and we broke. We broke my 51, which I'm going to show you critical levels today. We broke through it right here. We went to an imbalanced market. We went from a balanced market to an imbalanced market. So what's that tell you? Get ready. Get ready. Because I had no, no supply demand below me until 25. I had no POC from previous week of any HVR POC or control point below me. So this is a gap in the market. 
a 25 point gap. SDR comes up, the arrow fires automatically. That was one trade. This is my favorite trade. This is where I got live short also, and other traders got short. And this was a nice little trade at this inflection point. This is the best uh, trade of them only because this trade was a uh, Momo after a qualified FCR. The 80, the 13 also fired the Momo exactly right there. You could get short the 13 after a qualified FCR. I love going from an FCR to a Momo. Right there's a 13 fired. A lot of you guys got short there. And then it just started rolling down. Momo, Momo, Momo. And then all the way down to 25. But that's how you time it. You time the FCR Momos when you get into an imbalanced market. All right, so now what I'm looking at today is I already set the edges. I already know what to look for. I already set the edges. Right now, my point of control from yesterday is there, 66. It's contained a high. I know the high value area from a couple days ago is there. It's set the edge. So you can, we've had a Momo trade. So from today, we had a Momo off of uh, the demand line here earlier. We had uh, FCR, I mean. We had extreme Momo here, which is above 80. We, but look how this critical level, the Momo came right off my critical level here at 445. And more recently, a lot of you guys should have picked this up. This was a FCR right off of my previous HVA of yesterday into what? Into a momentum trade. There's a Momo, right? Now, what's holding it up is the control point. But I know the edge right now. I, I know that the balanced market, once I break out of the balanced market, we could see a nice little run. So there's the two setups so far this morning. Right off my critical levels using market profiles confluence on my market profile. Right? So there's a SDR Momo. Now now take a look at this. Watch. Take a look at that. It's a higher low. On buys. Now take a look at my big sell yesterday that we were stalking. Lower high. Same exact mirror image, right? Same lower high for short, lower high for short, lower high for short, very weak. Now take a look today. FCR and Tomomo. FCR and Tomomo. I love this combination. So now I know if we clear 66 and a half, hello 80. This potential has is going to looks like 80. That's where I got nothing above me. I have zero, so the imbalance would be up to 80, right? However, if we break below this critical level of the high value area, I've got a straight slide. We have, do have a hiccup here on 46 and three quarters, I believe it was. Put that on as 46 to scale. But pretty much, you got to slide down to 34. All right, so we're going to look for the market to first get imbalanced. Right now we have a Momo trade. That's an active trade here. If you have an FCR trade that happened just after 8.30, your live fill would have been a couple ticks at the high of the bar. You should around be around 61 to 61 and a half. Or if you took the Momo, you should be around 64, 63 and three quarters, 64 and a quarter. It already hit 68. First runners off on both should have been off right at my critical level there, okay? Now, do we have a blow-off rally yet? No, we break 68, possibly to 80 quickly because the market is what? The market is in a balanced market right now. We're balanced. So scale, scale, take singles, take doubles. We won't see these, you know, I send these runners out where the S&P runs 20, 30, 40. We see it sometimes 50 S&P points on one FCR Momo trade. That's because it's an imbalanced market. The imbalanced market will happen here. And break out of the supply, which is the control point also. That's when you're going to see speed bars kick in, buy stops and sell stops, and that's just... That's order flow, guys. That's all it is. Nothing more than that. It's just knowing order flow. This has worked since 1994 when Pete came out with volume profile. I just use market profile on different spin of things. 
I use a longer market profile than a 30 minute market profile, which I don't think is very accurate. All right, so that is our roadmap for the day.